I think there are fewer things harder to grasp than tonight. Back from the Twitch party, um, I sang. Uh, you can ask me this in the comments or on Twitter or on my stream, but uh, I sang uh, Piano Man, which has a quite a good history with me and uh, some friends of mine spanning both Twitch and and uh, my web career. Uh, I sang it tonight in one of the kind of best performances I think I've had. And while you feel, while you might feel like this has nothing to do with anything else in this video, I think that it was one of the most emotional moments I've had as, <laughs> especially with everything that's been going on. And, um, you know, this, this, this series is all about evolution, right? It's, it's all about moving from one thing that I've known to have done for a very long time to another and tonight was a turning point it was almost like a, a turning point for me to because the community has always meant, meant so much to me I think I I think I made that much clear in my departure video but like you know the first time I sang Piano Man for the Twitch community was at uh, PAX Prime 2014, and I became, kind of became known as the guy who sang Piano Man, having so much support behind me. But tonight was different. Tonight was special, and tonight was almost closure. I still have one week to go. And it's almost like tonight was the night that everything just happened, that it, I made the... I made the transition, I closed the book. This was my last night to this community as staff. And I did it in the way that like I like I chose when I chose to leave Twitch. As hard it, as it was, I chose to do that. And tonight I chose to close the book on my career as a an advocate and a fighter and a for this community with a song and everybody in that room one could say it's, it was vain you know what you know it's just being up there performing and you know it's it's what twitch is right twitch is all about performances it's about putting smiles on people's faces for even a short amount of time, the short amount of time that they see you, your mission is to draw them in and put a smile on their face. But tonight was just that closure for me. And I think that I can go forward even, go forward knowing that, like, I had the closure I wanted and that this, this is something that I can, you know, I can cherish, you know, along with, along with this. You know, this is, this is me. This is my Twitch experience in a nutshell. The last two, last uh, year and a half, last year and ten months has been being both the guy that you could come to to fight for you as a product, a product designer, and the guy that can you can talk to about being a streamer. And if that is my legacy going forward, I'm happy with it. I think I finally come to terms, and it's something as simple as a as a glow stick that says staff on it that gave me that peace of mind. It's going to be really hard to to move on from this and even though I said it's closure it's still going to be hard to like think of myself as not one of the people that have a say in what happens at Twitch and maybe that's a good thing maybe it's good that I I, I, I will always think that way that I will always be this kind of dichotomy between Twitch staff and partner. Because that's how I wanted it to be.
everything in this job, everything I've done has been on my terms. And and I couldn't ask anything more of this of this community of of the company because they've already given it all to me. And I can move forward knowing that I have that support going going forward. <laughs> I cried a lot tonight and uh I finally broke down because it just felt like I had let everything I left everything there and it's like you know you let you let go on a stage and it's just like it, it gets very emotional but tonight we'll see what we'll see what tonight means to me in a couple of weeks in a couple of months in a year but it's something I hopefully hopefully I'll never forget and video will never let me forget it or the stories or whatever This is my bridge, and in the next few weeks I'm going to cross it. We shall see how smooth that journey is, <laughs> and uh, I really hope that, you know, you'll be there with me to make that journey. It's going to be scary, it's going to be frightening, it's going to be exciting all at the same time, and it'll be awesome to have you with me as I make this journey forward into something that I've I never thought I could do that was a dream but hashtag the dream is real the dream is real